which is legal under Building 1. Yet, few stores seem to want to do that, and the ones that do take a long time getting to it. Some have done it, but it's, you know, it's a... What is the OQLF? Sort of taking the law into their own hands and telling businesses that this is something they should do, despite the fact it's not the law and what they're doing is not illegal. That's the question I want to ask when we come back and talk to Brent Tyler. Four o'clock, this is next on CJB. Good afternoon, it's four o'clock, I'm Jason Mayoff. Looks like a nice sunny weekend. It's 24 downtown, full weather coming up after the news with Aaron and Randy Rennell. Here's what's making news right now. Fitting the pieces together in two crimes committed in the last 24 hours. Do you like how the city is doing with road work? How about garbage collection? We'll have poll results and good news if you need a doctor. From the CJAD 800 Traffic Center, here's Kira Yeager. There is an incident involving a truck on 13 South at uh, just at the beginning of the Vachon Bridge, and you're you're going to find it slow as you attempt to uh, take the Vachon Bridge off 13 South, and uh, lots of volume actually right now going up into the Laurentians on Laurentian Ottery northbound from the 440 all the way up into Saint Jérôme. You do have a, a good amount of congestion to deal with, and over on the Met eastbound, there is some volume from Cotelias to Saint. Laurent Met westbound. Actually, minimal volume right now, thankfully, which is between the 215s and to carry north. A little bit of build up in the top end to carry south, actually, is moving fine, top down to the bottom. Way different story than yesterday. Uh, the inbound Champlain has a significant delay from before Milan. Get a lot more, a little, with Mitsubishi Mirage, like exceptional fuel economy, incredible safety features, and more from 11,465. Mitsubishi built better, back better. Traffic and transit every 15 minutes on CJAD 800. Next report, 415. In the news, there is a link between two crimes that took place in the past 24 hours. In Terrebonne, two people were shot and seriously wounded in a lawyer's office yesterday around 6 p.m. And then overnight, three men were found dead in a home in Boucherville. Several reports say one of the men found dead in Boucherville was suing one of the lawyers shot in Terrebonne for more than a million dollars. They seem to be all from the same family. We have uh, an older man and two, uh, two other adults, which seems to be in the 20s. Tommy Lacroix of the Greater Longueuil Police says at some point Thursday, one of the three men left the Boucherville home on De Blois Street. When he returned, it's believed he set fire to the residence and initiated a murder-suicide. The SQ's Martine Asinine says it's believed the man carried out the Terrebonne incident when he left the Boucherville home. The person we were looking for in Terrebonne um, could be either the suspect or a victim in uh, the event that happened in the Boucherville. Several firearms were found inside the residence, as well as an accelerant for the fire. In Boucherville, I'm Andrew Brennan. The city of Montreal released the results of a poll taken late last year on the level of satisfaction citizens are getting from city services. And while the city scored high on some topics, it's been found lacking on others. The poll found that, in general, Montrealers are satisfied with several key services, including the police, waste collection, and leisure activities. But, not very surprisingly, they were less thrilled with road work, traffic, and snow removal. There was also some rumbling over the city's 311 line. Montrealers generally found initial responders courteous and efficient, but expressed lower levels of satisfaction on follow-ups. Executive Committee member Pierre de Rachy says that's a concern. People call us, and this is the way we, we want the people to take contact with us. But on the other hand, now, once they talk to us, we have to deliver on The city also announced that it is setting up an office to streamline and improve city services at the borough level.
percent. And the Quebec Medical Association president, Yoon Jin, explains measures that her organization put in place five years ago is bearing fruit. All these patients who need to see him or her immediately and to stop uh, uh, scheduling appointments three months in advance. I'm Michael Edwards. Are they in a recession or aren't we? Federal Finance Minister Joe Oliver is rejecting a forecast from a major American bank suggesting that Canada is already in a recession. He also weighed in on the Greek financial crisis today. Oliver says what's happening in Greece is another example of why it's critically important for the Canadian economy to preserve its fiscal strength. Fortunately, uh, we have half the debt in relation to uh, our economy, to our GDP, than, uh, than the G7 countries on average. We have a AAA uh, credit rating, and as I said, uh, we're expecting a solid growth uh, for the year. Oliver says while the Canadian economy got off to a weak start, economists continue to predict solid growth for the last three quarters of the year. Send your tips and photos to your story at cjad.com. I'm Jason Mayer. Next update, 4.30, breaking news as it happens. News Talk Radio, CJAD 800. BNN, Money Watch. the polls for a referendum on its bailout this weekend. Online betting sites, which are often pretty accurate at predicting outcomes, put the yes vote in a slight lead. Victory for the no side would greatly increase the